Right. You'll be much in prayer for services and tell folks about the mm -hmm. Lord's house and what yeah. you're doing. Invite folks to come and uh, be here in the service Sunday. Mm -hmm. First Kings chapter number 2, and I want to start reading with verse number 50. First Kings chapter 2 and the verse number 50. I want you to know what the Bible says there. And Adonijah feared because of Solomon, and arose and went and caught hold on the horns of the altar. It was told Solomon, saying, Behold, Adonijah feareth King Solomon, for lo, he hath caught hold of the horns of the altar, saying, Let King Solomon swear unto me today that he will not slay uh, his servant with a sword. And Solomon said, If he will show himself a worthy man, there shall not an hair of him fall to the earth. But if, if wickedness shall be found in him, he shall die. So King Solomon sinned, and they brought him down from the altar. And he came and bowed himself to the King Solomon. And Solomon said unto him, Go to thine house. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I love you tonight. Thank you, God, uh, for your word, Lord, for letting us be in your house. And, and Lord, for each one that's here, I praise you for uh, just allowing us to come and meet like we have tonight. Thank you, God, for uh, the good songs, Lord, we sung in the choir. And thank you, Lord, for the special singing. I'm glad, Lord, it won't be long until you come back and get us. Lord, we look around and, and see the signs of what's going on around about us. And, and Lord, look in your word. And Lord, we realize it ain't going to be long until you come back and get us and take us to be home with you. And Lord, we love you and praise you for that the hope we have. And I pray you'd help us tonight as we look in your word for a few minutes. And I touch you people, stir us together, and do for us that that only you can do. I love you. Yeah. And I praise you for it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I want to preach tonight here on this passage of Scripture I'm reading here, and I want to give my thought. Right there out of verse number 50. The Bible said, And Adonijah feared because of Solomon, and he arose and went and caught hold on the horns of the altar. Now, I, I, I was preaching Sunday morning I, about that horn on that. I said what had it, that horn was there. I, I had to hold on to it. I, I talked about how that how that was we're riding in this army and we're riding in these battles and we're riding as we go through this yeah. life and, and that we better have a good hold. We need to have a good grip on that horn on the saddle yeah. so we don't yeah. get bucked out of the saddle so we don't I get out of the will of God and we don't get out of things and being involved in the things of God yeah. and what He wants us to do for Him for His honor and His glory. Yeah. And as I was praying and thinking, I couldn't I'd get away from that thought about I having a hold of that horn on that saddle and riding and I got to thinking about different places. Yeah, in yeah. the Word of God that we find that horn and, and we find different kinds of horns. And, and the main thing is that we're to have a good hold on them. Right. And you find out yeah. right here in this verse of right. Scripture I read tonight how that, that the Bible says that Adonijah yeah. feared have a cause of some and he arose and went and caught a hold of the horns of the altar. Yeah. And the first thing I noticed about it was how that he feared. He had a trouble on the inside. He was I bothered inside. Yeah. And he yeah. said, boy, I need to get to all her and get a hold of God yeah. and beg for mercy yeah. and see if I find some help and yeah. because of fear that had great disorder. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. You know what this world means? They need to get a yeah. uh, godly dose of fear. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And realize hell is yeah. a reality. Yeah. It's a real place where folk go and have, and have a holy fear of God yeah. Yeah. and respect to Him yeah. and find an owner somewhere and get a hold of it yeah. and beg God to move in their life. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He had fear. It caused him yeah. to go find a whore on the altar and yeah. grab a hold of it. And, and really what he's doing is he's a plea for mercy. He ain't done Solomon right. And he's done wickedly. And he knows that Solomon will have him killed. And he goes down there and grabs a hold of that whore. And he's, what he's asking for is to have mercy. Amen. 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 Boy, it would be good if we get a hold of God and grab a hold yeah. of the horse's altar and beg for mercy. Amen. I, wow. I got to tell you that I need mercy. You yeah. need mercy. Yeah. And every yeah. one of us needs the mercy of God yeah. every day. Yeah. And our lives to help us. And what we're going to do is grab a hold of the horse yeah. and ask for mercy. Yeah. Amen. 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 The first thing it caused him to move was fear. The yeah. Bible said that I feared, and, I, and the dog, I feared. I mean, I fear had gripped his heart, and fear had got a hold of it. And he said, "I can't help myself." I'll say, right here is where he where he got to. He right. said, I can't help myself. Right. But yeah. if I can get in order somewhere, I can get some help. Yeah. Amen. Right. Hey, right. boy, be good if folks would realize that. How they think their daddy's talking about there a minute ago. How about that song about how some things are better than others, right. and some things are going higher up the ladder than others, and some things they maybe know more than others. How about I will tell you tonight, how when we, when we realize what, what we are without yeah. him, it'll cause us to fear, and everything we know will better think, and 
we have won't mercy. Yeah. Man. Right. Man. The Bible yeah. said he went down there and he got a hold of the horse. I believe yeah. where to grab a hold of the horse. Yeah. I talked about having a firm grip on that on that saddle. I want to tell you, you need a firm grip on the altar. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. A place where you get along with God and beg Him to move in your life and yeah. beg Him to move in your family's life. I'm yeah. telling you, if I didn't have a, yeah. a hold of the horse and the for yeah. myself, I'd want to have a hold of it for my family. Amen. Yeah. I want to pray yeah. that God helped him and God moved in her life yeah. and God saved him and kept him yeah. out of hell. Yeah. And the only way you can get that to place is to get a hold of the altar. Amen. Amen. Yeah, right. I mean, we're to get a hold of the altar for our family, get a hold yeah, yeah. of the altar for our loved ones, and, and get a hold of the altar for the community of man, God, yeah. how to move in hearts and life. You say, preacher, I want to move this church. I more than anything. Will a preacher do that? I don't think it will. I will a singing do that? I don't think it will. I, but I believe if we'll get an altar somewhere and get a hold yeah. of Almighty God, yeah. it'll yeah. cause things to happen around yeah. here. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. 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 I believe it's going to take an altar if anything takes yeah. place. He yeah. got a hold of the, he had a firm. I grip on the altar. He yeah. knew if he, if he didn't get some mercy and get some help, he was in trouble without yeah. it. Yeah. No, no, no. I'll say we need a firm a grip on the altar and, and begging God to move. But the Bible speaks in Psalms chapter 18 and verse number 2 about the, uh, the psalmist David said there is a horn of salvation. Yeah. We are not going to have a, ho- a firm grip on the altar, but we are to have a firm grip on salvation. Amen. Now listen to what I'm saying. I'm not talking about each I'm not I'm preaching against each other security. I'm not talking about you lose your salvation. That ain't what I'm talking about. Right. I'm talking about you need a firm grip on the fact that you are saved by the grace of God. Yeah. And God's moved in your life. And God is moving in your life. Yeah. And He yeah. has helped you. And He is helping yeah. you. And He is going to help you. Yeah. And have a firm grip on that. Amen. Amen. You say, why, preacher? Yeah. Because the book of James said that man uh, that's double-minded is, is unstable. And he's like the wave of the sea. He's yeah. tossed to and fro. Yeah. He's up and down, in and out. Uh, and he don't, and he, uh, you see folks like that one day. Boy, they love Jesus and they're on par for God. And the next day, they don't, you don't even think they know God. Right. They ain't got a firm grip on being yep. saved. Uh-huh. I'm telling you that we need a firm grip on our salvation. The Bible said in Luke chapter 1 verse 69, he said he has raised up. The horn of salvation. Amen. 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 I mean, man, he's got a hold of salvation and Amen. he's holding it up for him. Mm-hmm. You know what that says to me? I ought to be ashamed that I'm saved out there in the world. Amen. 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 I ought to be ashamed to tell folk yeah. out there, and I know the yeah. Lord. Yeah. I know he's my Savior, and I yeah. love Him. And, I, and, and He cares about me. He yeah. loves me. And yeah. don't be ashamed to let them know how they were Christians. Amen. 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 I looked at yeah. John the other day over at Land Harbor. And this, this, uh, and, and I know he meant well. And I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't throwing off on him, but I, but this contractor had me go over and look at his job. And he said, I went back over there and gave him the price. And I said, Well, what did he say? And he said, Well, he thought we was a little high on it. I said, He's going to do some painting and some facial boards, and I'm doing it. Again. He said, we, I, I thought we was high on it. And I said, Well, I mean, that's up to him, I guess. And he said, I, said, I didn't, uh, I, I didn't, I don't know if he's a Christian, and I didn't ask him. I said, Really? And he said, No. So I didn't want to uh, kind of throw that out there. So, so I said to him, I, I, my gutter man, I know he's an honest man and does good work. Man. Yeah. Well, I'm glad y'all got that in there. Yeah. I didn't have to ask for help right there. Yeah. But he said, I didn't use that Christian thing. Yeah. I hung up and I thought, I wonder what he means. I didn't use that, that Christian thing. Hey, I don't care if folks know that I'm a Christian. Do you? Yeah. I don't care if they know that yeah. I know Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Right. Hey, don't bother me one bit. I'd yeah. let them know we're going to hold out the horn yeah. of salvation to yeah. a lost and dying yeah. world and let them know that He is a reality. Serving yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I like what Ken said at Sunday school Sunday morning. He said, if we've got joy on the inside, it ought to flow out and somebody ought to see it. Yeah. Yeah. He said, if everybody's got that joy in the inside, yeah. God, why don't they show it to nobody? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Boy, Luke said, Luke said, well, let me, that verse scripture there, where, where he said there, he said, and my, I'm, I, my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. Yeah. And Luke said, did y'all catch what he said right there? He said, and my joy remain in you, yeah. and it be full. Yeah. And Luke said, if the Lord's joy don't get in there, you can't have joy. That's right. right. Yeah. And you know, it won't make no difference no way. But the right. thing is, until we get full of joy ourselves, it won't spill over on right. nobody else, and it won't show nobody else, and they won't see no reality yeah. in serving right. the Lord. Amen. Amen. We need to get a hold of that horn of salvation. Yeah. I mean, have a firm grip on that. Hey, let me say this. I have to move on. Hey, we may not act safe sometimes. We may not feel safe sometimes. But we know because of the Word of God, and because we put faith in the Lord Jesus, and that we are yeah. saved by the grace yeah. of God, yeah. and sometimes you just got to hold 
talking to that. Amen. Because yeah. you don't always feel like you're about to fly away. Right. That's right. I yeah. don't. Amen. I took two of the men who worked for me today back to a job.